Of course, um, the big thing this week was the debate. Say who? Did y'all see it? No, yeah, I didn't watch it. <clears throat> yeah, I saw I saw moments of it, but um, I watched the whole thing. I had no choice. You had no choice. I was driving back, and oh. I was like, "Yeah, let me just listen." Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I don't know if you guys know Nick Jones. He's a he's a really really big uh, Christian YouTuber in our space. And uh, he had this reaction. I wanted you guys to see what uh, I just said. watched the whole debate. I think I don't even want to vote. It's kind of what I'm feeling like, you know, I, I don't. I, I for what? For what? For what? <laughs> I'm just going to pray. <laughs> I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to spend time with Jesus. Because uh, just keep it real. They both suck. And I'm not even like. If I had to vote, if somebody put a gun to my head and said, you, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I would say Trump. Because there's no way I could vote for Biden ever. It's just, it's not happening. But for me to really go out of my house, get in my car, drive to the site to go vote. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I just, I'm just going to be rocking with Jesus. I'm going to go, I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch it unfold. I'm going to be chilling with Jesus. Because that was ridiculous. Mm. All right. So, what did you think about what Nick Jones said? Ryan, you know how this works. I'm trying not to look at Sean. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I get where he's coming from. I get where he's coming from. I think because I watched this whole debate and I listened to both sides and I had to like just deal with it, um, I realized that. You know, God is going to use who he uses and he's going to allow who he allows. And that's that's what we have to subscribe to. And we'll be OK. We'll be OK because he's already uh, overcome the world. So we already know that we as Christians, uh, whoever's in that office, whoever's in that office, is, we're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. And so um, <clears throat> but my personal opinion. My personal opinion. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't your opinion. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saying like my my. Um, that's my truth. That's my truth. I, I'll say that's my truth. But in my opinion, I think if you if you do vote vote for uh, uh, Joe Biden, you're voting for uh, Kamala Harris. I think that as he continues, he may it may not be a health issue for him, but she's going to be running the country. She's going to have more influence and more. She should uh, she should be the president. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like that, it doesn't mean that he has to like get sick and be out of office for too long. But if he has to swear her in for any reason, she will automatically become president. And who's to say that power will be given back at any point? But then just just let her be on a ticket. Just just step aside. Everybody, you've had popular people say this about Joe Biden. Tell him to step aside. Let her be the the nominee, the president, so she can run. Don't act like that's not the case because you y'all scared of losing to Trump. Just be real. That's what they. I, okay, have, to, I have to. Do you I, think she can beat Trump? She, no, I think. I think. Absolutely. You think no. America will vote no. for her? Well, he, well, here's the I don't question. Think America progressive enough for that yet? No. To be honest. No. America's not there yet. No. The bo- blo- ah, to vote a black woman in? I don't think we're there yet. Not the way social media looks. I mean, I know we Not said it. Way. I heard people say it about Barack Obama, and I was, you know, on the optimistic side when he was running. Um, but now I'm just like, hmm. But here's the that's, thing. That's stretching it. After, okay, I watched Fox and CNN after that debate to see what they talking about. CNN looked like somebody just broke in this house, and <laughs> we got to do something real quick because this we're scared. Like, they look nervous. Everybody on that panel, mm-hmm. but some who wasn't conservative, looked nervous like, we didn't know, and then like, and then I think the question to me was, people were saying this before, like, yo, this dude don't look good. He don't look vibrant. He don't look, you know what I'm saying? He do, he could be telling the truth, but he doesn't look good. Like he doesn't look good. Like he gonna run this country. So the question goes, why did y'all wait to this to be seen to say? People been saying this though. It's be- not like it's it, it's not new. It didn't look that way at the State of the Union though. 
because he's reading a teleprompter. I, I, y'all need to understand this. He has tel- <laughs> every president has teleprompters to their left and to their right during every his energy debate. though yeah it's easy to be energetic when you have to remember you what you have to, to say yeah. during the debate he doesn't have teleprompter so he has to try to remember what and to say a it's a totally impediment. different he's had to overcome a stutter you know what i'm saying as a child so that's something else too oh no to i was just thinking like man i know no other country really taking us serious at this absolutely point. not when you look at trump and, and you look shouldn't. at biden and like, <laughs> you got trump up there he's just a fool he's funny because when he came out and said that kung flu all those years ago when during COVID, as insulting as it was, it still lives rent free in my head. Trump is going to give a show. And what Trump does is he 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 plays on the on the it's someone else's fault mentality. Yeah, like yeah. it's the it's the it's the illegals fault that you're in this situation. It's mm-hmm. this. You know what I'm saying, and and he does a good job stirring up that mentality. Yeah, I don't think he's racist. I, people ask, say you crazy. Mm-hmm. I say. I don't think Trump is racist. Trump is a businessman. I agree. I think when Trump care. came out with the, when he came up with "Make America Great Again," what he was talking about was all of our jobs going to other countries. But that's and a used slogan. That's a, that was a reused slogan. Yeah, he was trying to bring jobs back to America, but we just came off of eight years of a black president. So what racist white people gonna say? Yeah, make America great again. Get the black people out of there and get us a white man in here. <laughs> so he said, okay, these go, these the folks who gonna vote for me. So let me cater to these folks. Yeah. He's not racist. He just don't got no integrity. He knows how to play the game. Yeah, he don't he don't have no good character or no integrity. But he's not racist. He a businessman. Care. What you think, Miracle? You, your face is talking. <laughs> I think, I think more so. than one thing can be true at the same time. He yeah. can be a businessman, he can be ignorant, and he can be racist, and he can be like there are many things that can be true. Mm-hmm. So he can be a businessman and he can be racist. What yeah, makes him racist? I'm with Miracle on that. Oh. I've, I've heard him say things. Just just recall his presidency. Yeah. I don't even have to speak to no, that. I'm just, saying. I'm saying just recall. It. Just think on <laughs> what he did, no, I mean, and you'll be reminded. No, but what so I'm that's saying all for, you need. for people that's watching this, that's like I'm pro Trump. Uh-huh. What makes him? What what you're saying? He's racist. Just Say recall. It. Just recall. I don't. Mean? I don't. Right. Have, Obama. Obama we all watched what he did and how he moved. It Obama. spoke for itself. Obama, Obama said Obama. the class system is not a white and black. It's a rich and poor. Exactly. And exactly. I agree with James because. When you look at the history of Trump, even before the presidency, he just want to be in the mix. You know, he yeah. was in the mix with hip hop when the yeah. when the stuff happened with the Central Park Five. Like he was in the mix with that. Like he just likes to be in the mix. He had his own show. He's mm-hmm. very much into the fame and the fortune. Rappers think, would mention yeah. Donald Trump in their bars. He was yeah. hanging out with Nas yeah. and well, I, I think <clears throat> I think Donald Trump is everythingist. Everything <laughs> yeah. everything but him is what he is. I don't think yeah. he cares about not a soul yeah, on this earth care. besides himself. So that's why I think, oh, you're a racist? Cool, come on. You uh, you classist? Come he on. No it doesn't matter to me as <laughs> long as you're doing what I want. Yeah. So that that's, w- what was odd to me though is that Nick Jones, um, Corey from Smart Christian's channel, a lot of them I think lean towards Trump. So I was surprised with his reaction that he felt after that, which was a clear loss for your guy, Biden. <laughs> it was a clear loss. <laughs> yeah. um, I was surprised that he came out of it feeling like it was like a uh, both lost. Well, because you know well, Trump wasn't answering questions. He was, <laughs> they asked him about January 6th and he like, yeah, but on January 6th, my presidency was this. My presidency was that. And when you got this, when you got this, and then all this other Man, stuff. Trump and, is a hustler and a gangster, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. what Trump is. He a hustler, he a gangster, he just want power. He don't yeah. care who yeah. he got to get it from. And he's wealthy, so the rules don't apply to him. You yeah. know, like yeah. wealthy people are able to get through yeah. loopholes and things like that that the average American will never know. I mean, for Bank of America not to pay taxes, for Delta to threaten to take their whole hub to another state if Georgia makes them pay taxes, like, Wealthy people are able to, and I was just having this conversation with my mom just night before last about the debate, and I didn't watch it because I'm one of those Negroes that's just kind of (laughs) like, you know, I don't care. Like, I serve a mighty God, and when you read the Bible and you understand, like, the Bible is about a kingdom. In America, we'll never understand that because this is a presidency. This is a democracy. Mm -hmm. And so we have already a different ideology of how hierarchy works. Like, in a kingdom, there is no bureaucracy. There is no, you know, uh, judges and senates and governors. Like, it's the king. And that's it. You know, he Mm -hmm. may take counsel from his chamber, but it's his final decision, period. And I was just having this conversation with my mom about voting because every year, four years, I struggle with, am I going 
to vote and then you get hit on the back of the head with all these negroes like hey what about your ancestors dying all this stuff yeah. but 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 as i mature in christ you know what i'm saying it's like as i mature in christ it's just like it don't yeah. matter and i think dr dr tony evans said it best like you can be democrat light you can be republican light but as a believer you have to know where your help comes from so it doesn't matter the state of right. the world what God has for me is mine and as long as he yeah. and I and Jesus Christ are walking hand in hand as long as we are aligned as long as I'm living out my kingdom person because God's will is going to be done whether you sign on or not it just yeah. serves and behooves you to do it you know what I mean because it's going to happen period yeah. and so I said all that to say that I'm, I'm with him I don't think it really let me not say that voting matters locally more than it matters Absolutely. nationally like yes. people have to stop focusing the, the presidency is just a I was a political science major so the presidency is just this hodgepodge of stuff um, and it mattered more back when the country was smaller mm -hmm. but now that you know everybody's free right and I use that word loosely but now that everyone's free and has the ability to vote etc your most impact comes from your day-to-day -day life so your mm -hmm. board of education who's mm -hmm. going to be the county commissioner who's going to be the sheriff who's going to be yeah. the local judges in right. your county and then your state supreme court so those are the things that matter more mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying than the presidency me you 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 all of us not voting isn't going to move a hill of bean in a bean factory Man, it's already been a staff i don't know yeah if people sound conspiracy theories i feel like america is a business you know it is they yeah. only, they, yeah, they, they, they only going to allow certain it's people to be in there so it's like if i had a business and i'm gonna pass it down to whoever i think is going to mm -hmm. run the business correctly i'm not going to put somebody in there they're not going to run it to the way it needs to be ran so when i look at like she was saying the big major elections they really don't care what we think for real yeah. even if you vote for the person they put your person in there whatever they're still going to do whatever they want to do it's still right. so much protocol how much change really going to be made in four years mm -hmm. but locally like she said yeah what's interesting the about the reason why this stood out to me when jeremiah sent it to me was we actually had the same com do you guys remember this yeah. when when it was hillary versus trump we had yeah. the same conversation on the show we never put that video out because at the time, I w it was the same thing. Like, you know, I was getting all these people saying, you know, you guys could sway people to keep them at home. And we got we to gotta get him out. You know, we got to keep him away from the presidency. It's like, man, I all I know is that neither one of these parties, especially the last, how long has it been? Sure. Ten years? It's yeah. Eight years? Neither one of these parties is representing Christians in any kind of way to me. And I feel like everybody's making these compromises, whether it's for your skin or whether it's for certain issues that people pretend to care about. Even Trump during this this debate said, oh, yeah, I'm for abortions past a certain point or for this reason or that reason or that reason. I'm like, uh, what? Yeah. What are you talking about? I thought you were the non-abortion yeah. guy. Yeah. So I'm like, what? None of this feels like it's for us at all, especially black Christians. feels mm -hmm. like nobody cares yeah. about us yeah. whatsoever. So. I'm 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 to the point where I don't know in mass this does make a difference if everybody starts feeling like this and everybody stops voting but I I just know that I'm at a situation now where I'm like I can't Are vote for vote? neither one of these people. I'm a vote I I'm having 100% decided because I know for sure I ain't voting for Trump. It's two Sauls. Vote for Kamala. I am not voting for Trump. It's two I Sauls. I mean, that's what it is. It's two Sauls. What about the black jobs? You don't feel like <laughs> <laughs> you ain't voting for black jobs? Nobody sent me the application for the black jobs. If, if there was black jobs reserved for us, I didn't know. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm honestly like debating because we do have microphones and we do people do listen to us. I'm always like, I don't want to send out a bad message. Yeah. You know, please vote for your, you know, what you feel God is telling you to vote for. But yes. this, me currently, I'm like, I feel like I'm making too many compromises right. picking between these people. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. like either I, one of them. I do think yeah. I do think to tell people not to vote is and, and it's up to you to what you want to do. But I would say just look at the look at your what you believe and go with they and go and see what these people are about. That's what I would do. That's yeah. how I would. I would because do. Yeah. folks are Democrat or Republican based on their upbringing. You yeah. know, same reason you're a Baptist because that's what you was raised as. But then when you get down to the meat and to the heart of it, it's just yeah. like I don't agree with this. You know, I mean, Baptists, you know, don't believe in. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. Like being baptized by the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so there's just different things. And when you 
as a believer, right, you would more so align with the Republican side, like pro-choice and, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature, bringing Bibles back into school like Oklahoma's doing. Like as a believer, those things make more sense. But as Maya asked me so many years ago, and it sits in my heart to this day as I mature in Christ and in my womanhood, she asked me, she said, well, when you go out into the world, do you go out as either a black woman, a woman, or as a believer? And at that time, that was during Trayvon, I was like, I'm going out then. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, period. But now that I'm a believer, it's like, I want people to see the glory of the Lord on my life. Like, you don't need to know anything about me to be able to spot. You can spot my color. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a it's a, yeah. it's a tricky situation. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to be honest with how I actually vote. And I, that's why I like to get the absentee ballot. Because I honestly <laughs> don't know how people do all the research they need to do when they go into the booth to vote. Because when I, when I have it at home, I could pull up everybody's profile. I could go mm-hmm. to their Facebook. And honestly, my criteria is... Do you worship Trump? I'm not voting for you. Uh, do you love Jesus? I'm voting for you. Do you love Jesus and worship Trump? I'm not voting for you. <laughs> like that's that's literally how I go down because yes, I lean more to a conservative side, but I cannot stand people who keep making excuses for this dude. I, I just can't deal with it. It seems wrong. And I'm like, if you are strong enough to say I'm a believer in Christ and I'm gonna hold this dude responsible and, and accountable for what he's done, then I'm all for you. Cause that that more so aligns with me. You see what I'm saying? If you had to pick one though, if you had to pick one. Right now, <laughs> the way you just said it. Like, like, no joy. I just already said it. I do not like this dude. Yeah, already said I don't like this dude. I'm 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 a absolutely not Trump and a probably not Biden. Because that's that even because there's so much that Biden does that I hundred percent this guy claims to be a Christian, like Catholic. So yeah. he claims to be, right? Dangerous. And he has compromised so much on issues of uh homosexuality and abortion. Then I'm like, who are you? Like, how could you give that up just for power? It feels like he's made so many compromises just so he could get in his spot, and he can't even enjoy it now. You know what I mean? Like, look at look at it's like you've you've sold your soul for this, and now you're what are you? You're just like now just being used by other people. Have you heard what he said? Like when people Christians asked him how can he approve these things, he pretty much said, I forgot why I saw that, but God doesn't force us to make any choices. We make our own choice on our own. So. He said, I don't necessarily agree with abortion, but if you want to have an abortion, it's not up to no, me. No, that's take crap, because even on the debate stage, he, he, you, you can't, if he was just like, a, I don't want to force people to do my faith or whatever, that's, you can say that if you want to. Mm-hmm. But on, he is required, because of his Democratic position, to champion these mm-hmm. things. To me, that's too far. If, if, if I'm going to be that's the true. president and because I'm, I'm in the Democratic Party, you're now making me have to champion things that I believe are evil, I, it's not worth it. You but know what I, I'm saying? I think, yeah. I think just going back to you, um, going back to kind of what I said earlier, um, I remember telling this to Maya. I was like, I think the reason why he's still in all, the, the reason why he's still the nominee is because these, these, um, these in the middle kind of um, progressive liberals, they're scared of them. Like the Obamas, the um, Bidens, the they're scared, they're scared of, of the far left. They're so, they're scared of the AOCs. Yeah, they're scared yeah, yeah. of they're scared of them because they like y'all don't y'all sound out there. And I think they're scared of those type of people getting in there and they losing completely. The problem is most of uh, all of us in the room will be considered centrist. Like yeah, we're in moderate the moderate yeah, centrist, yeah. right? They don't move people yeah we don't move people what yeah. moves people is hate anger divisiveness yeah. it's their fault it's their fault that's what works in this country and that's why i don't think we're ever going to be fully represented because we don't rely on if you're a genuine christian you don't rely on radical mm-hmm. blame other first ideas yeah. even yeah. on this show we're very careful even if we completely disagree there's still a grace that we try to have in our voice yeah. to where it's like it's clear that we still love we want best for them it's not just those people over there are ruining yeah. America. Those yeah. people over yeah. no, we want everybody to come to Jesus. It don't matter who, where yeah. you come from, who you yeah. come from, and that does not work. It does <laughs> no, not work politically work. at all. Nobody it cares about. You gotta it. pick a side. Yeah. All right. So um, let's move to that. We, we can talk about that till November. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, y'all Trump know who? Gonna win, though. You think so? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think oh, so. You think it's you think it's sure win. for sure? Oh yeah. We made some we made some uh, predictions on our first show of the year. We He's do that every win. year. 
And I think we were the other way, most of us. He I gonna he win. win. I don't even know if he's gonna be on the ballot by then. Yeah, I, Biden. I kind of threw my arm. I kind of threw my hands up and was like, "Okay, they're saying that he could run the country from prison." So I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That's I thought, the most gangster stuff. I thought you go to be a gangster, bro. I mean, it's a rap. You get a felony. He's, he's it's untouchable, a rap. man. I, I gave up a long time ago. Tough, I stopped watching that man get away with. He like John Gotti, man. 